Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel. And it's a dark and stormy night here in London. So do you know what that means, my loves? It's time for another episode of America's Next Top Scandal Girls. Oh my goodness me, I don't know how you're going to be able to see me today because I feel like my studio is exceptionally dark despite all my lighting because the weather outside is frightful. I hope you all had a good Halloween. No. The weather outside is actually like really dark and mysterious and I love a good storm. I love a thunderstorm. Give me that pelting rain and darkness and lightning, stuff that makes you kind of go, is it the end of the world? Because it actually might be. So in the last episode of America's Next Top Scandal Girls, we saw Shandy having a, um, a moment, shall we say. It sparked a lot of discourse in the comments, might I say, about what a healthy relationship looks like. And I can, I think we can safely say it doesn't really look like what Shandy and her boyfriend have. That doesn't seem very healthy, but I guess they are young people and young people do make mistakes all the bloody time. Even people who aren't young make mistakes all the bloody time. Naughty mummy. I also wanted to say that something really weird happened to my last video, the last episode of this one. It actually fully cut off my, like, final thoughts on the episode, which is so annoying. So, for lack of a better description, and I don't really know how else I can do this, you can watch them here now. To skip the final thoughts on the previous episode, go to timestamp 3 minutes and 20 seconds. So during the opening section of this episode, we saw Sarah mention about her knee. And I think without that mention, that wasn't actually mentioned anywhere sort of like from the middle of the episode on, without that mention, I would never have guessed that she was going to be in the bottom. And I don't know why they just decided to mention that in this episode. Maybe it's because the storyline producers kind of felt like Sarah had gone as far as she could in this competition and that she wasn't actually going, she, that they couldn't see her like in the final. I have also learned about myself in this episode that it is kind of difficult to watch people who aren't dancers dance. I don't know, I just get like a sort of secondhand embarrassment kind of thing. I know people are enjoying themselves, people are enjoying a dance, blah, 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 blah. blah. For me, it just feels a little bit weird to watch because I'm like, oh no, it's a little bit cringe, isn't it? Does anyone agree with me or am I being a little bit prissy there? Am I being a prissy? Prissy little prissy priss? Good heavens. Now the elimination for this episode might actually be the most difficult that we have seen. It was so emotional and I'm still feeling a little bit like <sighs> about it now because the amount of emotions, I don't, I can't think of another episode that we've seen so far of this show that is as emotional as that little thing there. And they didn't even give it a lot of time. They were just kind of like, and she's gone. She's collecting her things, sobbing and going. I understand why reality TV is emotional because that's what's compelling. It compels you to come back and watch it again or rewatch it. But it is still like, it's it evokes such a reaction in you. Reality TV is really good at doing this. It's really good at hooking you into a storyline that maybe you didn't even necessarily care about. I didn't necessarily care about that they were going into a movement-based challenge this week, but the idea that I followed Sarah's story and now it's just like snatched away and she's left wailing is really sad. That's really sad. Isn't that sad? So one of the last comments on the last episode was by Jennifer LR and they say, I think the issue with the boyfriend is that she has these rules for him and who he can socialize with, cries about it and has a tantrum until he feels bad. Then she goes and does what she wants and thinks it's his problem if he doesn't like it just to avoid taking accountability. My goodness, my love, if that isn't the tea that's been spilled, I don't know what is. Taking accountability in relationships is so important. If you wanna build a, a good foundation-based relationship that lasts for years and your love together grows, there has to be trust, accountability, and compromise. You have to actually want to spend time with this person and build a life with them in order for them to want to do the same for you. Relationships can be kind of difficult when you first start like getting your groundwork together. And I would even hazard to suggest that like the groundwork of a relationship takes like a good few years to build. And then you like really know the person that you're with. So yes, I agree. She definitely does have rules for herself and rules for him. And she kind of like, post them. I guess we'll find out if any more drama with that happens today. I would also like to just interject here and say that I am now on Cameo. You can book a video message from me if you click the link in the description box below. So far I've done some for birthdays, I've done some pep talks, I did some relationship advice, learn a little bit about me as well along the way and we can have a little giggle through a video message. So grab one for yourself, grab one as a gift, grab one as a Christmas present, I don't know, Halloween gift even though that was last week. In essence, I'm on Cameo 
if you would like to book one, check the link in the description box below. Also, it is time for the triumphant return of the Ochenger. So pop in your Ochenger, my lovelies, and get ready for the scandal. Die. Da 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 da. Camille, Joanna, Janasha, she's got gout. Well, finalist, the next top model is a gout. On the game, these all these people are gone, gone and gondola, gone and forgotten like the women on the game. This is very loud. My Orfanger are going to burst with excitement. Who will be on top? America's Next Top Model Girls. Oh my God, Tyra Banks. Right, we've got another landscape night sky skyline. A skyline. We're all fine because Sarah was chosen to be eliminated. Oh, yeah, There's Sarah went. A lot, you know. Oh. I recently lost a lot of weight. It was about 45 pounds. I might feel a little uncomfortable with my body. Can we just say, the, 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 the episode is eight seconds in so far, and we've had, we're sobbing about the final lady who went last time, and I've had weight loss. So this is going to be a very intense episode, I feel like. Don't you? The is true. Also, I know everyone's going to ask where I got this collar from. It's actually from Cyberdog. There we go. Back to your regular scheduled programming. And I don't want that to be a reason that I would ever get eliminated. I got, you know, what she said about, you know, finding a friend and celebrating. The psychic who came to our house told us, oh, Camille, you know, you're not going to win this competition unless you open up and you become friends with people. You need to take oh. her words and think about what she said and then really apply it to how you are. I've never been the person to... Gosh, the competition shows that we have in this day and age, probably the mammoth one that we have at the moment, is RuPaul's Drag Race that is comparable to uh, America's Next Top Model. And actually, the way that they're saying, like, they need to make friends in order to progress in this competition, none of these people need to make friends with each other. Like, if we abjectly look at the competition, they just have to do well in challenges. I don't think we've seen a group challenge so far that involves other models taking photos with you at the same time like with each contestant, they could quite happily just be like, this could all be a business arrangement. You could just be like, I'm talking to you in a nice positive way like I would a colleague. You don't need deep rooted bonding friendships to win this competition. It's kind of interesting that they're trying to, the producers at least told that psychic to be like, yeah, tell them that they need to make friends and bonds. I suppose it's because friendship and bonding can lead to like better ratings because of the amount of drama created. At the pageant. There isn't a pageant in America's Next Top Model. Why aren't you making it to the pageant? America's Next Top Pageant, girls. No. To make up a friendship from anybody. But right. I'll do whatever it takes to win. Okay. I'm not playing peacemaker, but I just, I want all the arguing and bickering to stop between Joanna and Camille. Okay. I don't trust you. I just really think that a lot of times Camille is a very lonely girl. I think she wants to have friends, but I think she puts a front that she's tough. I break that's, that's a bit much. Sometimes people just don't want to be involved with nonsense. And by stoically stating that, like, I don't need friends in this competition and I don't want to be involved in the drama, is not being like, I'm a lonely person who needs love. I really don't like this storyline that's being edited around Camille because she's being made to be the villain. And she really, I don't really get the vibe that she is. I feel like it's had, they've had to work extra hard to just show that someone being strong and independent is somehow a villain. Whereas Joanna, however, has gotten involved with people. She's done impersonations of people. She's rubbed people up the wrong way. Granted, it could all be, you know, clever editing. I'm not saying anyone, not everyone in this show will have the same edit. Maybe it's editing, but I do just, I don't know. I don't know, girls. Let me know what you think. Coming out at night. She wants to talk to you, you know that, right? I mean, you never know she could be a good person. You never know she could it's be not a good that person. I'm saying she's a bad person. I never yeah. I know she's needy, and I don't think she's felt the love that she's needed. Well, she just wants to, like, feel wanted, you know? And especially by you. Really? I don't get that vibe. Yeah, Tyra Mayo. She wants to feel wanted. Oh my god. Okay. Tyra Mayo, go. to head to Heidi Giselle's and my house. Oh, oh, Heidi and oh Giselle. My god. Don't Oh Heidi my gosh, we're actually going to get to meet Giselle, Giselle and uh, Heidi Klum. And for real, She recently dressed as a worm. I'm amazing. How are you guys? Brings a whole new meaning of, would you still love me if I was a worm? No. Wow. But Tyra Mel says, come to Tyra's house to meet Giselle and Heidi. And I'm thinking, we're going to meet those two. Do you think they actually are? No. Good morning, guys. This is the home of Tyra, Heidi, Giselle. I was like, oh. 
<laughs> oh, okay, I get it. It's IMG. And this is huge because this is the agency that whoever wins is gonna have a contract. Wait a second, did they fully think that they were going to like meet Tyra, Heidi, and Giselle. So I am Confucian. America, explain! And they're just like, come to the home of me. And it's like, no, actually, you're just going to the agency and you're going to talk to the receptionist for a little bit. <laughs> I'd be really disappointed. I'd be like, you fucking bitch. Why did you say that? I'm all excited. I'm going to have a heart attack. You see 100 people on a daily basis. Wow. Of that 100 people, we only sign approximately two a year. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy wow. that you have to stand out that much. On a uh -huh. go-see? A go-see. It's just like going on an interview for a job. It's, nobody a cares go-see is a go-and-see. And you've got to make them care. You've got to make them want Love me! Them. Why don't you love me? Okay, I'm doing an advertising job for a major fashion house. How old are you? 23. Where are you from? Valencia, California. Who's your favorite photographer? I'm Craig McDean. Why do you want to work for me? I love the style and design of your clothing. That's how the go-see is going to go. So it's just okay. key that you give them so that's very basic, very lovely, very basic, very lovely. I tell you what though, it's one of those things where I think maybe it's just because I overthink things and I overanalyze a lot of stuff, but the answers they give there are very, very clinical, very like you could say that about anything and everyone, like Camille's answer there could have been about a bakery. It could, you know, I really like the designs of your pastries. I was Whereas Joanna actually gave an answer that was, I would consider quite a like fashion exciting answer. She actually named a photographer. Now, if you were gonna ask me, I'd say Nick Knight. Oh, hello. And if I was going to go and walk for a designer, it would have been, if I could have, it would have been Gareth Bue in 2010 because his illustriously spiky designs really ignited something within my soul that was like, yes, make it business, but make it evil, girls. I should stop trying to self-insert myself here. I am not a model. I am not in the fashion industry. Well, sort of am, but we'll get to that at some point. Damn. Congratulations on getting to this point. Okay, congratulations. Let's all jump in a taxi and go home. <laughs> Honestly, okay. I like don't know when it happened, but all of a sudden, Joanna and Camille are like friends. Well, hello, Miss Diana Ross, you've arrived. Now, how are you taking this city? Okay. Is this space enough room for you? Oh, are you talking to me? I'm so sorry. So what do you think, Mr. IMG Man? Do you think he's gonna put us in an empty in the ivory campaign? He better, because if he doesn't, we just have to scare the hell out of him. Let's go. You wanna? I love you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Production drama values. I love you too. Well, off we go to lunch in Little Italy. Ebony and Ivory's first confessional together. Wow. How contrived did that feel? All right, they're off again. A lovely woman. A pterodactyl has arrived. I also like to go into restaurants and scream. My house, how was it? Miss Camille, you got not too much makeup. I do? Yeah. <gasps> oh no. As a model, you guys want to kind of be a clean palette when you're walking around. You guys all are naturally beautiful. Not to a restaurant. Can you slow, Tyler? Can I flow? Can I rap now? Okay, I have a rap. Okay, here. Imagine telling people in this day and age that you're wearing too much makeup. Like, I know I wear. I don't actually wear that much makeup. It might look like a lot. I wear cleverly placed makeup, but I have seen so many campaigns in this day and age where makeup is the ultimate transformative tool. So it is wild to say things like, that you're wearing too much makeup. I must admit though, when you're going for like a casting or something, like fresh face, bare face does seem to be what everyone wants. I must admit when I've worked in runway, when I've worked back, Stage. You would never really have like models come in with full faces of makeup on already because that would just add to the nonsense of the day. So I understand, but also like you're on TV and going to a restaurant, so, hmm. I wrote it in the ninth grade. Uh, oh, no. Poem. <laughs> in algebra one class. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, a song. I'm 34 C with no silly. Come take a photo and you will see. I'm five foot nine. I look so fine. Yes, all my friends are so divine. When I'm finished okay. with this, you might as well just dismiss all the other female rappers because y'all just 
Piss. Top models pack Piss. on the road, always gone. Pack your bags, y'all. You're going to Milan. Oh my gosh, Milan. And I'm like, ah, that's where I wanted to go. This is where I wanted to go my whole life. It's not she wrote that song a very long time ago. I don't think so. <laughs> I would love to go to Milan. My friend Callum is there right now or has just come back or has something to do with Milan. So I'm jealous. Milan, Italy. As a model, getting this type of information, it's, I don't know, it's probably better than sex. So, no, yeah, well, I don't know. <laughs> you are gonna feel so damn fine and amazing because every single man you walk by is like, Ciao bella, oh, donna bella, oh grazie, baby, come here. I'm excited to go to it's Milan because it's an opportunity to look into the market and kind of study it as regards to fashion and the boys are delicious. And in the fashion industry, you know, there's Tokyo. I must admit, Joanna has some... You can tell that Joanna has a passion for the industry. Although she's come across kind of a bit hateful in other episodes in this season, she definitely feels like the most well-researched in terms of saying the right things that give the appearance that she's paid attention to the fashion industry. She uses words like markets. Pork markets. Oh, that lettuce. Naughty mummy. Oh, there's Miami, there's LA. But in Milan, you guys, it's all about high fashion. You can't just be yes. soft and pretty over there. This is overlaid. Edgy. A nerve it up. Wow. I'm pretty much in shock. I'm just like, okay, let's go. <laughs> let's go now. Hmm. You guys have to be packed and ready to leave in one hour. Oh my God. Packed for a for international trip in one hour, I don't think. I'm just trying to think of all the scenarios that could possibly pop up while being in Milan. Physically, this competition has been draining. Lupus goes through remissions and flares. Oh, yes, I'm trying not yes. to think about that because I just want to make it as far in this competition as I can. Okay, I, I actually tried. But I just need to tell you that I'm gonna be leaving for a little while. No. My boyfriend, you know, deep down is probably thinking like, oh, she's doing her own thing. Oh, she's pixelation possessed mind. eyeballs. Mary loves dick. What's that about? Love you. I love you too, bye. Heavenly Father, we Okay, that's the first hint that we've seen in this episode about um, that. And I didn't get the vibe that that was particularly good. We didn't get really any interaction between them. Just a, I love you, bye. You bless all our luggage. You arrive safely and on time. In Jesus' name. Plastic bags. Plastic bags. Can you see all these plastic bin bags? What's that? You can't go to the airport with bin bags, can you? What are they for? A dead body. What a say something belt that Joanna has. That's so nine, uh, 2000. Oh, she's been on PowerPoint. Go f yourself. Graphic design is my passion. Right, they have arrived. 8.30 Milan. Good morning, time to bleed. I've got something for you. It's this one. Oh! oh. Producer off the Buongiorno. stage. Welcome to Milan. Your adventure begins at my Italian modeling agency, D Management Group. I've been dreaming about coming to Milan, not just to come here, but coming here and pursuing fashion. I'm so excited to be here, and I know that I'm just a top model in training. Oh, she's a model. The scenery is unbelievable. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I just can't stop like looking out the window, even though I'm so tired and I'm so hungry. I think people also from America forget that a lot of like European architecture is a thousand years old. Some of it is a thousand years old. It's like 500 years, 600 years, 700 years, 200 years. I feel like a lot of places in America are considered old, like old architecture, old structures. If they're from like the 1900s, maybe even like the 1850s, a lot of structures, buildings, architecture, artwork, everything in Europe is just so much older. I mean, obviously there's a reason for that. Let's not get into it today, shall we not? No, God! De management. Oh my God. Hi girls, welcome to Milan. I hope you had a good fight. My name is David Brown. Oh. And this is D-Management Group. David Brown. D-Management is a rather special agency. It's an agency that represents exclusively top models in the world, such as Tyra Banks, Kate Moss, Ooh. Angela Linval. I'm looking around. Looking Who was that? Angela Linval. I'm looking Joe around, Linval. looking at all these supermodels, looking at the pictures on the wall, like, I could do this. Milan is the most important training ground in the world for models. Today, you're on five go-sees. 
And what is Ghosty it? Ghosty time. It's actually going and seeing a prospective client. This day is going really, really fast. We don't get to rest. We don't get to do anything. We are going straight to work. You'll be yes. seeing clients. Get to work, where bitch. Display... Clients where you'll be displaying some aspects of being a top model. Your appearance, okay. your personality, your professionality, and your confidence. Professionality? We'll see you back here at the end of the day. Professionality? Isn't it professionalism? Is that word? Uh, let me just Google. Professionality. Oh, I see. So the difference kind of basically is professionality is related to the practice denoting a particular quality of occupational action and professionalism is purely personality based. So professionality is your ability to actually like be something and professionalism is your personality around the professionality. Language! Yay! Confidence. We'll be seeing you back here at the end of the day. Oh! To judge who is the winner. Right, let's go on some ghosties. No here, problem. take this box of Pokemon cards. I want to see your pictures. <laughs> and, like your portfolio is starting to, to become something. My attitude is walk to the best of my ability, show confidence. I like all this uplifting music. Win. This is nice for a change. I got my Italian book. I got my high heels in my bag. I got my makeup on. My hair's a little bit messed up. But you know what? I'm going out there and I'm, I'm ready to win this competition. Yes, didn't we in season one? Wasn't Tyra basically like, everyone have a chignon. Put on your chignon and then go, girls. So literally just hair back and up, out of the face and just like vests, black and a pair of heels with minimal makeup. Wasn't that kind of, isn't that kind of like the basis of all modeling job interviews? Is that not it? Is that not it? I'm going out there and I'm clean, clean ready short to win nails. This Here's how you're going to be getting around me right. Oh, little McPoilies! Oh, this will make it very interesting. Oh, we love a zoom. Oh, you've got a. I can see I like. Ciao. I like a lot. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ciao. Have they introduced more beautiful men into the equation to add? drama and potentially also add a level of interpersonal relationships to Shandy. That's a very difficult sentence to say. Interpersonal relationships with Shandy. Aphrodite Lady Seashell. I bled a little. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ciao. 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 Dead. Oh, here they come again so because repeated and I'm situations. Just wondering in my mind whether or not we're the ones that have to drive the. Ciao. Ciao. Why Ciao. would you. Ciao. Here's how you'll be getting around Milan. Okay, now right. come and choose your driver. Our challenge is going on five go seats. The criteria for the contest is appearance, confidence, personality. 1 p.m. is a weird time to go out and about and see companies in Milan, no? And professionalism. Right. Oh, come on. On, get get on to the back of my bicycle. My bi oh, babe, babe, she's got go. Oh, babe, too, too sweet. Uh, nice. yeah. Only one person in the audience will get that reference, and that is Roly. <laughs> you horrible, horrible girl. Mom, she speaks Italian to the only. I have never been on the back of one of these. She met a guy. <laughs> okay, you can. No day. This is something I've always wanted since I was a little Put your heels on. I like had this dream for myself that I wanted to be a part of, you know, the fashion. Oh, take world. those earrings out, though. How long have you been modeling for? Um, for about mm, four months. Right. Maybe we can have a Polaroid. What do you think? Joanna, I think she was very elegant, but she was kind of strange. Like her shoulder and the breast, uh, she she was too square. But always looking for different things, so it's hard to tell whether I did well or not. Oh my goodness. Milan for me is like. I still, I know that the modeling industry is basically based around how much you fit into a mold. Because I'm someone who's never really fit into a mold, I'm always just very much like the mold is nonsense, don't pay attention to it. It is still kind of jarring to hear such casual ways of explaining like, of reducing your whole reason for no down to like one thing. It's like, oh, her shoulders are too square, so no, she's gone, next. I understand that's the entire industry, but it's still very difficult to like hear and listen and like, Witness? I don't know. It doesn't leave me feeling like, yay, what an uplifting industry. I love it so much, girls. It makes me feel like, Egh. I'm about to be blinded by the sunshine because suddenly the thunderclouds have left. You're going to be a problem, aren't you? Yes. Unbelievable. Everything is just a million times nicer. Can you walk for me? Please? Sure. Do you want me to pose or anything at the... No, be sexy. Just be sexy. Yeah. Be sexy. 
Oh, yeah. Thanks. Thank Thanks. you. Thank 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 I would say fake it till you make it. I don't think fake it till you make it is a phrase that I actually enjoy very much. I've been thinking about this a lot recently and about my position in like my career and businesses and like here on YouTube. I don't actually think it's a case of fake it till you make it. I think it's a case of act like you belong. People don't know what they don't know. So if you are shivering and shaking on the inside, if they don't know it, they might not be able to tell that you are. So instead of fake it till you make it, act like you belong. Hey kids. Oh, yeah. For an intimate question. Okay, you pay me later. Oh, <laughs> Camille. It's my hair. Okay, see you in a minute, right? Good luck. Okay, right. thank you. You know that this is the number one agency, so we use a really top model. Uh, okay, so I'm in the right place. You, uh, you think so? I just put on my personality and made it a point to get a business card and leave the window of opportunity open. And Camille, uh, she has a strong uh, attitude inside it. Does she? <laughs> I don't feel like that went very well at all and I think maybe that little section was cut down. I'm not getting a good feeling for Camille in this section. So I have a couple of thoughts that I have witnessed from people saying online, especially on places like Twitter about the discourse of like lots of places in Europe and black people. I'm gonna leave it at that for now because I'm not sure I have quite the articulation that I would like to have around the issue. So I'm still learning people's experiences, especially when it comes to making like accurate commentary on shows like this. But there's definitely an element of racism that is still highly prevalent um, in Europe, shall we say. Okay. Okay. Mercedes girl, she's on wow, the game. Like Look at her, she's David Blaine. Where you know you're almost about to die, but you don't. They do a lot of magazines. Actually, it's a, a weekly fashion magazine. They're looking for a classic, elegant I thought she said fishing type of at look. First. I need to like learn how to be more edgy. Oh, Mercedes, Mercedes you need to like take those her. earrings out. She has out. a nice attitude, but she was a little commercial for me. Are you called? No, you sure? Yes, for you or not. <laughs> Are you what? She has a nice attitude, but she was a little commercial for me. Are you cold? Are you cold? No, um, sir. Yes, for you or not. Oh, these men, these men are so flirty. Flirty, flirt, flirt. Thank you. For me, go see was business mode. I'm here to sell myself. And you're mixed blooded, no? She's on the game. I see that. So, where are your origins? My mom is Japanese. Yeah. And my father is German, Irish, Scottish, and Welsh. when I have a weave and I can't scratch my head. Come on, pretty boy, let's go. My little Italian man, he really doesn't speak that much English, but other than that, I'm having fun. My mom is from Mexico. Why did you say that? Canadian, and I love children. Have you ever graced any of the covers yourself? The first step in Cringe. belly dancing is the figure eight. So you go like this, and then the movement is like this, but when you have the, like Shakira, you know, when you have the thing, it's like... They've set Mercedes up to fail here, because why would they be like, now do belly dancing at a high fashion modeling campaign? I just, I struggle to think that she would have just got up and been like, belly dancing is done like this. Like, you just wouldn't just pull that out of nowhere. Maybe he asked her an interest and she was like, oh, I like to belly dance. And then he was like, show me some belly dancing. I don't know, it still feels, that feels like a little bit of a weird, I don't know. I feel very strange about that. Very strange about that. Mm. I don't have a great feeling from any of these ghosties so far. Let's make this happen. Your name? Camille. Camille. Uh, why did you come with makeup? I'm coming from... Prova di questi capi, per favore. She would like you to try this on. Quickly, please. It is very important uh, for fashion shows that you learn how to change very quickly. She thinks that that's not good to have these... I, I don't, want to see you. I don't know I want what, to see what, you. You call, what you call okay. these things. Come hai camminato, secondo te? Uh, Come la tua camminata? What made me nervous was her attitude. I, I, I felt like I was a bitch or something. Provati anche le scarpe. Ragazzi, spostati un pochettino. No, 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 no. 
Two, close. Okay, go. Io devo vedere un mucchio di ragazze oggi. Okay, she wants to know why you walk like this. Explain, explain, uh, uh, try to Perché explain. This is my signature walk and this is what's going to make me famous. <laughs> oh. Do you have experience? No, okay. Wow, okay. I just have to cut in here for this go see because this is, this is how I have felt in some presence of people in the fashion industry, shall we say. Highly judgmental, highly fast. I also understand that at the end of the day, it is a business. You need to be able to like, do your job like A, B, C, D, E. All the points need to be like known and done. It's almost like though, no one's told these people that these girls are amateurs. They're brand new to the industry, brand new. These people are trying to treat them as if they've got 10 years experience, they've done it forever, blah, blah, blah. And I always feel like there needs to be an element of if you're gonna be part like an industry leader and you are having like new fresh faces come in, you can't expect them to already know everything. Either you're there to take someone from zero zero to a star in the modeling industry, or you're there to manage stars that already exist. And if you're there to manage stars that already exist, why are you having open casting calls? Do you know what I mean? It should be invite only. So the idea that she's treating, or they're saying to this, like, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this, without a sort of like caring, uplifting, educational aspect to it, it doesn't make any sense. These girls are just gonna come away from this and go, oh, that was horrible. And now this woman looks like a bitch on TV. And so does her little gay pet. <laughs> Do you have experience? No, okay. The lady is tough, but I'm not gonna go cry in a corner or anything. Why should she take you with as little experience like you do? If she were to see something in me. Thank you. She's a meanie and she is a bad woman. I don't like her. In your pictures, what? What do you portray? Quick, please. Tranquility. Moto tranquila. Sex appeal. Not room for the sexy. Can you, can you fix yourself outside, please? Finish. Okay. It was a bit coarse, but I'm sure that caricature will be calling me pretty soon, so it's not a problem. I met worse. Well, there you go. She met worse. She can move on with confidence. And this is the castle. Oh, here we go. Castello Sforzesco. It's very wow. famous in Iran. Here, look at that. Wow. That's gorgeous. Are we going to see a love Bella. story? Oh, Camille's going to have a baby. <laughs> Are you there? Uh -huh. I sneeze me, I don't want to sneeze. You can't go to sleep on the back of a motorbike, you'll die. What's your day? Oh. I miss you. They like my mask. Which is you like good. Me? It's not I right. like uh, not well, only your uh, walk. <laughs> Oh, flirty, flirty little slap man wants to sleep with you, Camille. Oh, say anything to get you into the boudoir. No tea, no tea. Keep your wits about you. Our day, our day is finished. I want everything good for you. Thank you. That's quite sweet. It's a very, very, really pleasure. Please stop touching my face. A very nice man wanted to win my heart. And I'm happy with that. Oh, there you go. It's always nice to get a little bit of attention, I suppose, from someone that you actually, like, want you to give you attention. Right, here we go. Da 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 da. Quarter to ten. We go right. back to D management to meet with. Tyra oh, and let's hear. David. What was the hardest thing for you guys? You're new and you're learning. That was the hardest part. What was the easiest part? The Vespa. The Vespa. <laughs> <laughs> nice to have a lot of fashion shows. Say what? Throw you on the back seat yeah. of that Vespa with that pretty Italian boy. <laughs> I have your results from your go -sees. It's Shandy. You are more fashion than commercial. But you were way too shy and not self-confident. Oh. April, they said that you were very strong but weak in all of the other areas. Joanna, they said that you had a really gorgeous face but that you had to work on your body. They aren't so sure you have a body for high fashion. Mercedes, they said that when you walk... That was an overlaid sentence, but oh my God, you aren't, they aren't so sure you have a body for high fashion. We know what that means, don't we? This was what, 2004? 2005? 2004, 2005? We know what that means. When they say you don't have a body for high fashion, it means you need to lose weight. You need to lose weight. You need to lose so much weight before you can even step onto the stage. What are you doing here? You disgust me. <gasps> That's what they mean. And that is so unhealthy. Joanna is in no way, shape or form, plus size, overweight, any of the extra nonsense that they want to say. <sighs> 
God, I hate it. Me for high fashion. Mercedes, they said that when you walked in, you were very weak in your appearance, but strong and a very confident person. Camille, they said your that appearance. your look may be a little too classic and standard, but that you had the best confidence overall. They gave you scores from one to ten. Who thinks they want? Oh, you think God. Shandy won? Yeah. Shandy has the body to be a fashion model, and we're in Milan, and that's the look. This one or this one? I think it's either going to be Mercedes or Camille. Their critiques were, like, all about confidence. Mm. The person that had the highest score was... Shandy? Camille. Thank oh! You. Yeah. <laughs> Camille won! Yes, Queen! Soldier's up at the go <laughs> Did she book anyone? Camille is very excited because she hasn't won a contest yet. You're gonna get your portrait done by an Italian artist, and you get to oh, choose one person to go along with you. That's kind of cute. Done too. Oh my god, this is the first time we've actually had like a real prize that isn't just you get to hang out and have drinks with blah. <laughs> Who's she gonna pick? Who's she gonna pick? Joanna? <gasps> you wanna, you guys Clocked. are gonna be done. Clocked to the pageant. Clocked. It feels good to see them friends. It feels like we've come full circle. Oh, you know, how she uplifting. She has an issue with her self-confidence. It only took 18 minutes and 37 seconds to reconcile this eight episode nonsense. You want it. She has an issue with her self-confidence and I chose her because I wanted her to actually see that she is gorgeous. I was okay. Saying, um, in regards when they said work on the body, like <gasps> doing like toning or probably, yeah. Because I'm already a size two. I mean, it is hard for you, Juana, to take in all that information about her body because that's so sensitive. You're like, what's wrong with me? After a long day, I'm sure you want to go and get some rest. I have the keys to. Oh, they should have addressed that then. They should have addressed it. When they say toning, what does that mean? They do not in any way, shape, or form want Joanna to become muscular. That is not what they want. That is not what they've said. That is not in high fashion. They want her to lose more weight, and she's already a size two. What's a, a size two in the US? What's that in the UK? That is a UK size six. And if you look at any modeling thing ever, like let's, for example, go on ASOS right now, I can see a woman wearing a jacket, and the standard model size is a size eight. Shocking. Re they want her to be smaller than that. They want her to be a UK four, which is a US size zero. Hashtag, that's what it was all about back then. Your model apartment. Right. It's really cool that Camille chose me. But honestly, it did upset me with the criticism that I yeah, don't have the body I'm not type. Surprised. I probably won't be able to be a top model. It's just too much, you know? It's time to go home. Time to go home? I don't think so. In the car, we're having a oh, breakdown in the car. Card. I don't want to oh. leave. I don't want to leave. If you leave, then I'll leave. Uh, as much as I love modeling. I'm upset because a client said that I probably don't have the body to be a top model. This is the this first is time really I've heard sad. of it, other than having to do more toning. You know, because you're confused. Oh, I think it's just like being overexhausted, not sleeping, not eating, just everything, and then hearing that. Yolanda is feeling self conscious. Oh, this is really heartbreaking, actually, because this kind of episode is kind of what would have affected my generation's mental capacity for body acceptance and body positivity back in when this was aired. So when I was growing up, I had, I didn't have exactly have an eating disorder, but I definitely had some level of disordered eating because I was obsessed with being thin. So I guess that kind of is in a case. It wasn't, it wasn't like, in my mind, it wasn't serious. It wasn't like I knew other people who'd had actual, what I would classify as like severe eating disorders. My friends did growing up. And I, whether being around that or whether being in that environment or watching shows like this felt that I needed to be, I needed to pay attention to my weight management as literally like a 16 year old who was already rail thin. It's these kind of conversations that when they're aired like this, they, and, and no, like you have to remember this, the target market for this show is young women. It's just young women and young people. So when they put things like that on TV without any sort of explanation of being like, this is not a healthy way to live. They're watching these adults go through this crisis of like, I need to lose more weight to be even smaller after being on a huge weight loss journey, puts it into your mind of like, maybe I won't ever be successful unless I am also 
really fucking skinny. That only then sets into motion all sorts of other issues when A, you grow up and you get beyond 25 and your body says, actually, the metabolism's gonna slow down a bit now. You're an adult, you know? We're no longer pubescent, prepubescent, or even like young adults anymore, still growing. We're just gonna level out and you're not given the tools to perhaps have a healthy diet or healthy eating patterns or healthy exercise patterns. You then can quite easily become very defeated at the way that your body is changing as you age. Doesn't happen to everyone, but it certainly happened to me. Ugh. Oh, I feel dirty. Dirty! This woman is dirty. It's gonna hurt her in the long run in the modeling industry. I know that Ioana wants this like more than anything, but it's like slowly 23. taking its toll on her. She's had this constant battle with her weight and, and trying to look like a model. That's really upsetting. This really is a how did America's Next Top Model get away with this? Long day. It's really hard to become a model. Ooh. Nice. Ooh, right, okay, 1 a.m. Milan time. Is this their apartment? Very Airbnb. And Many many years ago, ago, Verona was the home of Romeo and Juliet. Tomorrow it will be the home of your first photo shoot. In fair Verona. Sing! Verona's beautiful, you guys. Ooh. We're in a smaller apartment, much smaller, in a totally different environment. We're all here to win. And I think everyone knows it. Toot toot. Ooh, Sweet. Don't put your scary boyfriend here. Shut up. Can't you put oh. it on the wall or something? No. Oh. I have like a piece of home with me. I don't yes. feel so far away from my boyfriend. Oh. Who would ever thought Ebony and Ivory would be sharing a room together? Why does she keep calling herself Ebony and Ivory? I want to keep peace. The best way to seek revenge on someone is to kill them with kindness. So that's what I'm doing. I'm killing you one with kindness. She's a businesswoman. That's the thing, if you're gonna be colleagues, you're gonna be in a competition show sharing beds with someone, blah, 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 blah. It does make more sense to try and have a compromise and build a professional friendship in that kind of like mutual respect, civil way in order to get through the process because not only you're in a high stressful situation, if you then start adding drama into that, it's gonna get even more stressful. And you know, the only people are gonna suffer is you and that other person. So why bother even beginning to inflict all that nonsense? It's the morning, there's a woman in the fountain. Oh, don't tell Janice. We know that we are going to be doing a photo shoot today, our first photo shoot in Italy. Oh, an it's Italian in woman. Verona. Verona. Oh, beautiful. A pizza restaurant. The Colossage Liés. Ooh! Wow. Hey, girls, over here. You didn't think I was gonna bend Hello. in Italy, did I'm you? I'm a bug. Is it a bee? You guys have a good trip? Yeah. So, this is where we're gonna shoot today. This is your backdrop. The Arena di Verona. Beautiful. Today's shoot is for Solstice. They're a high-end retailer. Oh, wait, this isn't the Colosseum. This is the Verona Arena. I see, oops. I don't know my Italian places very well. Oh. It's for Solstice. They're a high-end retailer of luxury brand sunglasses okay. in America. Oh. One of you will be wearing Dior. I'd like to wear the, the Dior ones, please. Massimo Costoli. So Massimo. Hi. Hi. Hello. Now, the look of today's shoot, just so you get an idea, it's supposed to look like high fashion. We've got to create an amazing editorial with all five. Is that not it. is that not their their thing every week? Is that not their their theme every week? The theme of today is high fashion. It's fashion. <laughs> so vague as well. It's not like high fashion based around the concept of blah. Bloody, 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 blah. Bloody, bloody, blah. Bloody, bloody, blah. Yes, nice. Blah. Bloody, blah. For the go-sees, I'm definitely very aware of my body. I want to prove that I can be a high fashion model. Well, let's walk back down to wardrobe. Does high fashion just mean thin and dull like at this moment? Fabulous. Fabulous. This can be fabulous. Those boots are fabulous. Fabulous. Okay. Thin, your designer's okay. dream. You should do a word count how many ways is fabulous in a day. <laughs> wow. That looks great. Fabulous? By you any feel chance? pretty? That's a good thing. 
You need to feel good. morning. Hi. I'm feeling oh. well rested, and I'm definitely just skip, skip, skip go to my home. loo. These, Yana, are going to be the glasses you're going to wear today. Okay, what are they? Excellent. Dior. Absolutely. Dior, Dior. she's got the Dior ones. Yeah, that's it. And you remember the poses when I bent over. I asked Broken all the dolly girls sheet. to give me very deconstructed poses that are like this, like they don't care, because most of the shoots, they're tending to overthink their poses and their little Ooh, we got some set. audio skipping. Good. Look, I a bird! Problem. Like, I am living Beautiful the teen dream. I am wearing hook couture. What more can a girl ask for? True. Fits the brief, it's doesn't it? A little more she does look nice. Finger. The fingers, more natural movement of the fingers. Yeah. Work those fingers yeah. out, girls. Oh, oh everyone can see. I'm sizing up my competition and looking at how they're performing, and it is seriously giving me insecurities. Joanna, she is slightly larger than the other girls, but overall, she really moved what? well. Think larger. More editorial. She's, She's larger than the other girls. Larger than the other girls. Joanna is larger than the other girls. Oh, that's just repulsive. Uh, it's a relaxed pose. Right, come on. I feel very Broken. privileged to be here in Broken. this spot. Even Why have they given her a fridge? Quite royal. Quite royal, yes. I don't like the faucet. Do you understand why that looks forced? This is forced. If you're going to do this, it doesn't, it, it needs to mean something. Stay like this, stay. Don't close your eyes. Look more in front of me. Do you understand? Relax. This is nice. Oh, Camille is not doing well. Poses. She just never lets go. I'm just in total awe and like shock of where I'm oh, at. Oh, wow. It's gorgeous. I'm not She's sure become a poodle. Love that. <laughs> I love this is nice, very nice. Bella, bella così. When you try, it looks awkward. When you don't try, it looks good. Okay. So we've got conflicting information here from everyone, which is come on this TV show about modeling, but don't try. If you try, you look contrived and we don't want that. It's very much the, the kind of like vibe that I get of like, no, you, you have to not really want it. Cause if you look like you don't want it, we want you to want it. But if you want it, we, we're not interested. No, you're too confident. We don't like it. How, how are they meant to win? How are they meant to do anything that pleases the judges? The judging is so, the judging and the direction is so confusing. I, if I was on a photo shoot, and someone was like, you need to look like you want it, but you don't also want it at the same time. I'd be like, oh, show me some examples of these poses and I will put them into my wheelhouse. Like what, what, what? Oh, now I get it. I'm not supposed to like think about what I'm doing. Shandy. Well, you are, that's she the thing. Like she's an Italian ball, period. Hands down, baby. Does she? Uh, how she came from Walgreens to this. That's where they all come from, Walgreens and Dairy Queen. Shandy Walgreens completely and Dairy Queen. blew me away. From the Cute. last time I worked with her, she looked like she was just electrified and put into the water. This time, she yeah. came out as a total superstar. Very and it's lovely. been two and a half days. <laughs> nice. Oh, here we go. Oh, I don't like that lip color. I felt like the sun, just like a flaming the ball. The sun, and girls! And I love that because colors fuel That's my cute. energy. They cute set the tone style. for me on a shoot. Oh, oh hide the pasqualiers. <laughs> April is very consistent. April continues to do a great job. So, so we're sending body, her home. My arms are here. They're hunched, but it's like I don't care. It's like what? Uh, it's like, like, broken dolly. I'm trying not to be as bubbly. Being cute is a nervous twitch for me. Like smiling. Mm. I have a commercial look. I need to work on being more edgy. Strong, yeah, clenched yeah, jaws, frowning faces. Under. Fashion, it fashion, feels fashion. Weird, but it looks good. Yeah, that's it. That the winner of this competition needs to be able to do commercial and be yes. able to do high fashion. Yes. Mercedes, I don't know if she can pull off high fashion. Oh! She's a beautiful girl. But, but she's also Mercedes filled with gout. That she'd be a toothpaste girl, very commercial. Thank you, it's a pleasure. I, I don't think she looks like a toothpaste girl at all. Camille and I are walking the streets of Verona off to go and meet our artist who will paint our portraits. Women Look on the this. game. Thank you for choosing me. I feel so special. Right, oh, so Louis let's Vuitton. see this. Hello, Camille. Louis Vuitton. This is gorgeous. I just want to also say, if you've ever been to Europe, you see people on the like, they're usually, these painters are usually in like town centers, town squares, and they're there like every single day. And there's always someone there being painted or characterized or something like this is, it's, it's kind of interesting to see it on this because this is like a real part of like European tourism. This is very European tourist based. This, I wouldn't say this really has anything to do with fashion or modeling. I'm wondering if like, this would have cost the production company like, 
20 euros to make. So I'm wondering if like, they're, are they trying to frame this as like confidence building? We'll have a portrait of you. Uh, when actually it's just like a very normal tourist thing to have. Is this a thing in America? I even feel like in some places in London, we have this. Da, 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 da. Oh, it's quite good. Ah, oh, beautiful. Are you happy? No. <laughs> she hates it. Ooh, okay. I feel like Joanna is appreciating the fact that she's getting her portrait. I just want to feel appreciated. I just want to be appreciated. That meme breaks my heart. When I hear that woman say that, I'm just like, me too, sis. I know the feeling. Oh. Done. Just keep looking around, wanting to absorb everything. The stars. The, the music people, choices the boys, are interesting. The boys. The boys. <laughs> At this point, I think I'm building a friendship boy. with Yeah, It actually ended up being more fun than I thought it would have been. Mm. Um, oh! Mi piace. But take a Vinny, girls. We're off to have some dinner at a quaint little restaurant Ooh. in Verona. It's to get health, happiness. Sure. Whenever they're at a restaurant, they're always like in the back in silence it's so they can be filmed. But I'm just like, to me, I've said this before on one of the previous episodes, to me, a restaurant is all about the vibe. Otherwise, I would just make dinner for myself at home. Like, I like the vibe of a restaurant. I like seeing people busy, having drinks. I like conversations, a bit of a giggle over there. The only thing I can't really stand is when someone's like, happy birthday to... It's like, oh, no, absolutely not. <laughs> Clink. They all smash. Oh, what a surprise! What are you doing here? Hair looks very. Uh -huh. What did you do that for? There's something about these Italian men, like, when they look at you, it's like they have such a. I told you. You just hear violins all of a sudden. Oh, they have a lust. It's interesting because the watch. Americans, we discard our women after like age 40, they're mm. mature. They can't get acting parts, they can't model no more. Mm. But here, the woman matures and she's still amazingly beautiful. You guys never even told me about your trip or your apartment at all. Oh, oh yeah, like this is strange. We opened the door. We it's just, gorgeous. First, we did, it didn't register what was happening <laughs> yeah. until this morning, and we woke up and we're like, wow. Well, what's our Staying. Do you guys have separate yeah. rooms or what's two, 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 two rooms? Two large rooms. Three beds and one. Ebony and I ran one. Sleeping together. Ebony and I. We're like. I do feel like kind of like. I feel like that's kind of strange that Joanna keeps saying Ebony and Ivory because we haven't ever heard Camille be like, oh yeah, Ebony and Ivory, as if like she also agrees with the joke. It kind of feels like Joanna's trying to push something and Camille's like, oh, I don't really want to say that, but I'm just indulging you because. Uh. We're like a whole family now. Oh no, I, I don't like think that. so, Mercedes. I am a little. Okay, why is that face Camille? Yeah. Ask her when she comes back. Mm, she to the huh? You she think she always she's... disappear to the bathroom at dinner? What? No. 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 Mm. She you no know, disappears and after every meal. No, not after every meal, just she goes to the bathroom a lot. Oh, oh, the eating disorder no. thing is very sensitive to me. Know. I've never experienced it personally, but I know a lot of people. I had a like friend that. that I think so I, if you guys I just keep an eye on that, yeah. you know, if you I can watch it for me. It's really important that what gets said at that table when Tyra is there is the truth and nothing but the truth. I, th I think, you know, Camille in insinuated that Joanna has an eating disorder, which is not true. Oh, okay. oh you were smoking. No, but I took these for a minute, right? Oh, I was like, where did this girl go? All right, everybody, I'm full of money. Thank you. Oh, that situation, my loves. Wow. I don't think that that was handled very well, and I don't think that was very... From, like, a role model stand view, role model point, that doesn't feel good. That is a situation that I have seen and I've been a part of. I've been a part of like the table where a friend has left after every meal and I know what's happening. And unfortunately, it's one of those things where I can only offer help when it is needed. But in order to really bring that up at the table in a, competi in a competition environment is... It's quite snaky, but also like th that's a legitimate health concern. That's an illness. That's not just like, oh, keep an eye on it for me. I just want to make sure that she's not doing that. That almost is like, I'm not going to do anything about that because I kind of agree with what she's doing because we did tell her that she is too big. I, re I get nasty vibes from that. That is insidious. This little interaction here that's happened is insidious. It implies that keeping an eye on something is doing something to help the situation when it isn't. Let me know what you guys think about what we've seen in this scene in the comments, because I feel like the discourse about this episode is going to be 
quite intense. Good night. Alright, bye Tyra. <laughs> But you understand everything, right? One thing led to another. I told uh, Joanna because I don't think that it's right for people to Ooh. talk behind her back. We've got a secret extra uh, confessional there, one that's not in the green screen room, which means that they were like, oh my God, we need to interview Mercedes about what's happened at the table because you've decided to break production values and talk about it. Interesting. She's concerned with all Tyra and Jay. I'm infuriated because of the fact that that would plant a seed in Tyra's head. You said in front of Tyra Banks. Oh no. Oh my God. What did you just say? Well, that friendship's over. What did you just say? Jane and Tyra said the do music. You, does you want to like go off on her own like often? And I was just like, sometimes. You said it in J and Tyra Banks. Drama. Oh my god. I've never I don't in like my this. life had an eating disorder. My body is a temple, and I'm not going to abuse it like that. Camille, you were entertaining her like it's this. It's not abuse. It's an illness. It. You know, does, does, does she, she disappear a lot? Like Roll this. the tapes. No, he didn't say does she have an eating disorder. She said does she disappear a lot. Does right. you want to get up and go to the bathroom? But it's I'll inferred, Camille. Oh, I don't like this. The thing is that she has an eating disorder. Duh. The question is like, she disappears a lot. And yes, she does disappear a lot. Camille, do you understand this is a modeling thing? And for someone to come out and say that you want to have an eating disorder? I didn't say that. I did not say have that. Have it she didn't say I did not say that. Tyra said that and Jay said that. And I was just like... I'm crushed that she would bring that up behind my back. Now I have to fix it. She did say earlier, kill it with kindness. But okay, we've got Tyra Banks here, so what's gonna happen? Tyra. Hey. There was a possible discussion of an eating disorder and things got way out of control. One of your roommates made a face. That's what I heard. That and then we were um, like, Camille what do you mean? I think that's what hurt me the most. You so really that. need to stand up for yourself. My yes. mom calls it the ugly side of the beautiful modeling mm -hmm. industry. Even though I saw there was a little bit of maybe sabotage in it, I, it did raise concern. Okay. You know, because I want you to be healthy. I want oh, everyone yeah, you know, to be healthy. Yeah. All right. All right. Thank you. Thanks You're for your advice. Okay. Obviously, Camille created something out of nothing. Mm -hmm. I questioned Camille's motives from day one. I was right. It's over. Wow. Okay, well that re friendship reconciliation didn't last very long, did it, my loves? Um, I feel quite dirty after watching that scene because I feel like that is something that I have seen happen. Like, I've been at the table when those sorts of conversations happen. Not in a business environment, but in a family environment. And it's like, oh, how do you begin to navigate that? Because it is wrong for Camille to infer that. But if she had a legitimate concern, she is also right to express it. But that doesn't make, like, that is not a good thing. Oh, is it a good thing? Ooh. I am confusion. Good mail. Tomorrow right. you will meet with the judges. Only four of oh, them right. will continue on with the hope of becoming America's next top. America's next top scandal girls. I, I feel like Mercedes. just came out good because um, I really want to stay in Italy. I feel like Mercedes got the worst critiques in terms of like, kind of like, you're too commercial. You're not really that exciting. Uh, she may be going or at least in the bottom with, who else? Who else did bad? Maybe Camille, because this kind of does seem to be like, Camille, get your act together. Like, stop being like that kind of an episode. So I think maybe Mercedes and Camille and maybe Mercedes is going because Camille is making good TV. But I don't know for sure. Yeah, it's not I think Shandy might be cool be first. Here two days and then go home. I might not won be the, the shandy size, but that doesn't mean that I can't do modeling. Hopefully the judges oh. know that. Oh look, another re another excuse. Oh, I like her hair. That's nice. Oh, here we go. Congratulations for getting this far all the way. Shandy is the only one dressed like a model. Now it's time to make our eighth cut towards determining right, here we who go. will become America's next top model. Scandal girls! We've got some prizes. A contract with IMG. IMG. One of the top management companies in the world. Oh, we're filming from the other angle this time. Magazine. Janet. The cosmetics campaign with Sephora. Sephora. Now we're going to introduce our judges. First we have Betty. Miss Janice Silver oh. Dress Dickinson. The... Miss Janice Silver Dress Dickinson. Imagine being like, welcoming Tyra Khaki Dress Banks. To where I am now! <laughs> what a weird, weird, weird. Also, Janice has been at the new RuPaul palette. Play the world. Silver Dress Dickinson. Oh, what a Supermodella. Incorrect. Erica Wilson, Erica's the senior fashion editor at Jane Magazine. Janet. With Nigel Barker. Nigel Busquish. And as you can see, all the way over here, Mr. Michael Giannini. Satan, apparently, from the music. <laughs> oh, look. 
He was a production plant this whole time. How funny. The whole time. His name might be Marco Gianni, but he talks just like me and you. He is American. He is not Italian. And he happens to be one of my agents at D Management. There we go. Ladies. He's a liar. A lying slut. When you meet people at Gossies, it's critical that you come across as professional and confident. The other okay, so all of them have meeting, a problem. It wasn't just an ordinary go -see. It was actually a test. We were it was fake. And particularly hard on you guys. Apologies. Yeah. We needed I didn't actually, I didn't actually clock that it was potentially like faked for TV ratings. But everything that I said earlier still stands. You wouldn't behave like that if you wanted to welcome new faces into your industry because you're going to deal with people who are amateurs and you cannot talk to amateurs as if they have ten years experience in the industry. This your reaction. So there. Put together video clips of that go see. Oh God, here we go. You're first. Come on, Shandy. Come on, this is the Shandy first time girl. Any of the judges are going to be seeing this video clip, okay? Okay. Shandy, let's see what they got on you. Ooh. Okay, go. Look at Shandy walk. Why should she take you with as little experience like you do? Why? The, um, Please explain why. The thing that I think of is especially by looking at the pictures. If she were to see something in me, like in my photographs. Oh, bravo. Shindy, okay, everyone loved that. Honestly, from your heart, I love the way you dealt with his bizarre questions. Your shyness really, really came out. And I think Michael's absolutely right in what he's saying. What he doesn't know is the journey you've taken that we've seen. From there to here, it's an enormous improvement. You had a photo shoot. Here is That's your very persona. positive. I think she's going to win. This is perfection Called first. personified. Crazy about it. That is a you nice know, your photo. Your long limbs really work very well. The photographer. I hate full shoe. Not only were you his hands down nice. favorite girl, yours were some of the best photographs he's taken all year. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> right, well, obviously she's winning. Mercedes. No, she's Mercedes. going home. All right, here we go, Mercedes. Fail, oh, boo. Everyone's like gonna that. go, boo, boo, boo. Yeah, I do. I, I walk, I tend to walk with my hips um, straight forward. How old are you? I'm 22. 22? Mm -hmm. oh. I, I would have the one slapped that woman's face. She so, talked to me. And like you that. would be homeless and jobless. Mm. The one thing I wanted to tell you that I noticed that was negative, and she said, Do you always walk like did you hear how casually, how casually Tyra said that? I don't really agree with Janice very often, but Janice was basically expressing there that if someone disrespected her by looking at her and saying, I'm 22, and almost in a way that's like, you're too old to be in this industry, why are you doing that? And the fact that Janice then would have stuck up for herself, Tyra said, and you would immediately be homeless and jobless, is like, that's a disproportionate reaction. Like, that said so casually means that, like, the reason why some of these people can get away with things in the Hollywood industry, especially as we've heard in the last few years, is because people feel like they can't stick up for themselves. Yet also, we heard Tyra say to Joanna earlier, you need to stick up for yourself. These two things are incompatible with each other. This. You should have said, no, I will walk however you want me That's to That's true. Because okay. right then and there, that client is going, oh, oh well, Camille's going to get it in the neck. You look like a warrior. It's really good. Your body is doing this high fashion, awkward pose, but your face it's not is my sort favorite. of normal. The photographer said he I had love the, the greatest hair. connection with you, but oh. then your look was a little commercial for him. I mean, she is commercial. Oh, she's it's going Camille. home. Okay, girl, let's take a look I at like your this clip. dress. It's very I gotta say. almost a bit. <laughs> okay, she's Zara Zara like this. this is my signature walk, and this is what's going to make me famous. Basically, Actually, I'm that here because I got chosen out of 6,000 girls, this, and that 12 were chosen needed. for America's Next Top Model. I have to do a Janice. Oh. Camille, what were you thinking? Time and time again. Oh no. The one time that she's wanted to stand up for herself and I actually kind of agree with because it's all faked. She's gonna get absolutely berated. I think Camille might be going, or at least in the bottom two. Time and time again, we've talked to you about attitude. You know what it looked like to me when you ran off the whole American Sex model? Look, bitch. I, you know, I was chosen over a million people. So I don't know what your problem is. When the go see process was over, um, I won the award. For yeah, they said you presented yourself very well. But this is a test separate from your ghosties. This was a test of a ghostie from hell. Try to work on humility a little bit. You have a beautiful neck. Here, your hair is all over the neckline. You are pigeon-toed here. And I just know that you can do better. You can pigeon do better. Pigeon-toed? You've done What's better. Pigeon -toed? The photographer said mm. Camille was by far his least favorite girl. He said she needs to be more in touch with her heart and soul. Next. 
gagged at the pageant. In an entirely random thing that's just happened, I've just literally had like a two hour important business meeting and it kind of interrupted my filming. So I'm a bit out of sync, but I really cannot wait to watch the rest of this judging because this has been a particularly weird episode in terms of the storyline that they've gone for. Just the same as the last season, there's been a question of eating disorders and how that's been tackled to me has kind of been a problematic way. Well, it hasn't really been tackled at all. It's just kind of been shown as a sneaky attack on someone's character. I don't know. I'm not getting good vibes from this. I think that the judging might be a little bit wonky in this episode, but um, yes, which is why my hair is now frizzy and not gorgeously curled like it was earlier. Oh, meetings, business, business meetings. Molly, isn't it? Joanna. Joanna. Oh, yes, I hate you. You do? Okay, no, ma'am, I'm just starting out. How can your presence do us to sell? Okay. Well, um, I'm basically- I have just realized something. That this woman, this whole scenario was fake, right? This whole scenario is fake. And she told Joanna that she was too big to be a model. And then at the dinner table, they didn't realize all of this was fake still. And this is whole, this whole thing has been brought up and made Joanna feel like crap when not a real, when actually a real situation didn't actually say that. Oh my God, they've just, the producers of this show have just exploited this girl's potential like, mm, what's the word I can use here? Potential uh, journey with weight loss as a problem. <gasps> they, I mean, I have a classic look. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I thought you looked absolutely amazing. Uh, and like, still. you were striking these poses that weren't, you didn't know you were, but I was like, oh, damn, that's a picture. You didn't get aggressive, nor you, down, because I was really hard on you. You that said that like she was you, big. Girl. It's fantastic. It's great body language. Wait, you know what, it's another it's look nice I haven't seen of you, which is great. April's next. They seemed like glowing, glowing positive feedback there. I wonder if maybe someone somewhere had a shred of decency and was like, <gasps> we've caused this woman some mental anguish here. We should not be like, yeah, no, this is what they said. But then again, we don't also see the full judging. That is literally what, like 20 seconds of judging, if that? Why should she take you? Please explain and don't hey, just pro. say, because you are pretty. Okay, please, <laughs> please explain. If she tells me what she wants, from emotion in my face. She don't want you to think too much. Explain why you need to go into this uh, explanation. One thing you have to realize is the fashion industry, it's romantic, it's artistic. It's all about emotion. It's very... No, it really isn't. It's about selling products and selling products is a market data science area. Like, yes, we cover it in beautiful photos, but the reason why certain photos get looked at more and then sell more products is because of the emotion that's portrayed within that photo or some sort of, what's the word that I can use here? Maybe like a trigger to cause the audience to buy whatever it is that that photo, fashion film, fashion show is selling. So yes, it's an artistic industry, but let's not forget we live in a capitalist society and the ultimate goal is consumption and selling. I don't agree, but that's the way capitalism works. It's give me your money because I want more of it and I have this thing that I can sell to you at a profit. So whilst Tyra is very lovely saying that, oh, it's romantic and gorgeous, there's no, no photographer, no fashion house, no modeling agency is gonna just work with you to take pretty romantic photos. They're gonna want to convey specific things to sell a specific product, which is why we have categories of fashion, such as editorial. You're gonna go into a catalog to show everyone what this lovely scarf looks like. Like, and we have high fashion to be like, you want to buy this lifestyle and look like this woman who's conveying this emotion in Milan? Buy these sunglasses. That's what it is. That's the basic marketing scheme of the entire world. Every single business's biggest outgoing in capitalism should be marketing because you want to reach people that you've already sold to and more of an audience to sell to. So yes, it is a science and it's measurable. People will buy what they can relate to, which is why inclusivity, inclusion, and fantasy is an integral part of advertising. And modeling is just advertising. Oh my goodness, she's on a roll. Maybe I should take a break more often during filming. No. It's less clinical. It is very clinical. Answers. All you should do is when you deliver those answers, huh. Think Eartha Kitt. All right, here's your best shot. I really like to be very gorgeous. <laughs> I can't. 
can't purr. I am a little bit tongue-tied, and I think you can kind of hear it sometimes when I speak. So purring off the menu. Do you want to hear me purr? <laughs> For me, look like stunning. A corpse dead. In the face. I don't really a dead that. body. I like the intensity. This I like the death. Looks like the batteries died in her vibrator. Yeah. <laughs> Janice. Shandy, oh, this Janice. girl is right, a supermodel in the making. The problem I have with Shandy, she needs to focus more and be more sort of secure with herself. Yoana, Yoana has emerged from cork nerd to elegant... They're sorry, that photo is so photoshopped. Look at how retouched that is. There isn't a single thing on her face that has not been like adapted some way or another. Mind you, I guess this is the reason why we've been adapting paintings since the dawn of time, is that very wealthy people and influential people need people to look up to them. And people do not often look up to realistic portrayals of human beings. They like to look at something they aspire to, which is why high fashion is often like this. Because not very many people in the world look like this. In fact, very few, as we saw earlier in this, in this agency conversation where they said, oh, we see a hundred people, what was it, a hundred people a day and we sign two a year. Like, very, very, very few amount of people can actually be a high fashion model. High fashion models always have something a little bit unusual, a little bit strange to look at about them. And that's the point, is that they are literally like, one in a billion. From quirk nerd to elegant model. I've had a problem well, we know with, that. with Joanna over the weeks. And I Ooh. keep saying she's got this great face, great face. The body isn't working for me. This no. is a shot for me where the whole thing works. I love this photo of April. Oh, I, think I love she the looks blush they use. Gorgeous. I think April has. April has such in look. Fierce eye. April has such intense eyes that I think heavy eyeshadow works so well on her. Some people just can't take like a lot of makeup around the eye, but April's eyes, gorgeous girl. She has fierce lips. She's thinking instead lipstick. of feeling it. Camille. Camille, what on earth is she doing? Camille is an example of someone who perhaps can't necessarily wear a lot of eyeshadow because it will reduce the features and not enhance them, but I love this lip color. I don't like the hair choice that they did. They were like, you need to show off your neck. So they gave her wild, unruly hair that will automatically cover her neck. What? She just has Sabotage. Uh, she has all this energy. She doesn't this have an attitude. Energy, well, a little bit. Which could be channeled into such a successful career. Oh. Mercedes. It's almost an A, this shot on Mercedes. I like how Mercedes presents herself. I don't know if that necessarily I is- I think Camille is in the lowest Something so that far. can take someone to high levels. Oh, here she we go. Mercedes versus John Camille. Galliano dress, but she doesn't take you there all the way. She takes you to the knockoff version mm. of John Galliano. All right, we've reached a decision. Okay, Jane Magazine. Ooh, trying to be half as bizarre, aren't we? Gout! All right, here we go. Who's going to be five executed? Young women standing in front of me, but I only have Are four sure? photos in my hands. And these four photos represent the four of you that and will one still of be you in the will running go on towards becoming to become America's Dracula, next Dracula, Queen of the Damned. Look down, exit stage left. <gasps> Shandy. What a surprise, girl, we knew it! This picture is an ad, but we need our girl not to just look fierce, we need her to be fierce, to show that she has some Can't fire. compliment you too much because you'll think you've won. You're still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Oh. Joanna. Camille's also not wearing Joanna, any makeup. Every model has something that they okay. just have to hide. It's your job to conceal it and you did an amazing job here. Congratulations. I don't know why Joanna loves these massive earrings. I feel like they're so distracting. I'm like, take them off! And I like a big earring. April. Right, here we go. Yes, I knew it, see? I knew so it, Camille technical. versus Mercedes. You model, just relax and exhale. Congratulations. Right, I knew it. Well, Mercedes and Camille, please step forward. Oh, here we go. I only have one photo in my hands. The music. Camille, you are undeniably beautiful. I once told you that we want you here. And for some reason, you feel like you still need to prove to the world that you're good enough. Camille, you are good enough. Mercedes, you're here because of your personality. There were tapes of girls that I saw that were- Which isn't very helpful in a modeling competition. So amazingly beautiful, but you have a fire and a drive. There's a little- a hard drive. Extra. But at the same time, there is that commercial thing that makes the judges go, but would the fashion industry believe it? So she's going? Oh, 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 oh! 
maybe the world will believe it, Mercedes. Oh! Dad, at the pageant! Electric chair. You're still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. The music is so intense. Oh, Camille. This is something that I wanted, um, but wow, it didn't work out. I feel sad and I feel disappointed. I take all the positive from it, I take all the criticism, and I'm gonna use that to make Camille a better Camille. What an excellent little speech that was for what's happened. Oh, fade away. I'm genuinely a bit. Right, well, uh, absolutely not. So, my lovelies, I'm gonna take out my ohanger. I haven't said that in a long time, but here we go. So, this was a really, really intense episode. We had uh, almost like two or three storylines happening here. We had obviously the storyline of they're all going to a holiday for modeling. Uh, one of the other storylines that we had going on was Joanna's potential like body dysmorphia style. I don't even know what you call it. I felt like it was really difficult to watch in the restaurant and then also being revealed at the end that the part that technically straight afterwards the uh the 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 ghosty the last ghosty that was fake and a bit difficult was they said that she was too big or at least she came she said afterwards she was in the car and she was crying and she said they said that i was too big now we never saw which ghosty said that but i have a i have a little bit of an inkling it might have been that faked difficult one because Tyra at the dinner was just kind of like, okay, well, keep an eye on her about that. Like, very dismissive, not really caring at all. Like, it feels like these girls were not looked after by production, which is quite a hateful thing to realise. I mean, I kind of knew it because reality TV in this day and age was just lawless. There was no aftercare. There was no help to suddenly becoming like a household name. There was no PR training, no nothing. There was no social media to learn about it. There was no way of connecting with people to understand their own like stories and how to mentor someone into be suddenly being a celebrity. The last weirdness that was happening in this episode was Camille's storyline. Camille had almost the classic redemption arc at the beginning, which is like, her and Joanna have sealed the bond and now they're friends. Look, they're having a confessional together. They're holding hands. They've gone off to have a lovely painting together. And then we saw that switch of Camille potentially inferring that Joanna has an eating disorder at the dinner with Tyra. And then Tyra goes to meet Joanna and says like, oh, one of your one of your uh, con one of your fellow contestants uh, one of your competitors was like made a face like I don't know, that whole situation wasn't handled very professionally from me. I feel like Camille shouldn't have done that. Joanna, I feel like Joanna got the rough end of the stick in this episode. I've found the way that Joanna has been edited in previous episodes to be a little bit grating on me. I haven't found her to be the most likable person. I actually was kind of more on team Camille. I don't like how Camille behaved in that situation realistically she like i don't know it's so hard to speak about these kind of things because in a competition environment you saying oh my goodness that person has an eating disorder is not going to put you in front of anyone else in the competitive environment it's not going to improve your ability to perform at challenges and tasks it's actually just going to create drama in an environment but also at the same time if you were directly asked if I was directly asked by someone's parent if my best friend had an eating disorder at a dinner table surrounded by their family, they straight out asked me. I don't know if if I could lie about that because that's almost like a almost like a guilty by association because I've had I've lost people in my lives due to um uh issues that they've been dealing with and I do at some point in my mind often think I wish I'd raised my concerns sooner instead of believing that they were a strong person that they can do it themselves so that's a really conflicting point for me and I, there is no right answer and I don't think I can really give commentary on that that's 
that kind of alludes to an answer because there really isn't one. I would love to know your opinions, though, about what we have seen today, about that specific thing in particular. I have no idea how I'm going to title this video, but I really don't think America's Next Top Model should have gotten away with that. That was a really badly managed situation. But le please let me know what you think in the comments box below, my loves. And with that, it is time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here, my lovelies. Yes, you can. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Fire Bombshell. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch. She's a standing woman on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video, Twitch shout out, make sure you follow me on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays, and I stream twice a week, although I am adding in a third night every now and then. It might be Tuesday, might be Friday, might be a weekend. You just don't know. Oh, isn't it spicy? <laughs> and once again, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Aloria, Laura Ali, Luke Peterson, Stefutech, Orko Samoji, Beebles32, Camille Sara, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Danielle, Danny Smith, Dr. A, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Jen Martin, Jennebeth Herman, Jenny Hendricks, Laura Jane, Laura Jane again, Les Banana, Min Min TM, Moriah Sherman, Nixie Tricks, Paolo Rivero, Rachel C. C. Biscuit, Ryan Vita, Sexy Texy RN, Slampire Queen, Travelful, Tromo, and Victoria Carella. Remember, my loves, I am now on Cameo. If you wish to book me for a video message, please click the link in the description box below. And with that, my loves, I shall leave it on the final thoughts of this environment is not representative of real life, but I think in real life, if you have a friend, who is going through something and you know that they are going through something I do kind of feel like if you love them as a human being in your life and you love them as a presence in your life try and be a hugely supportive influence and a positive influence for them it looks different for every single relationship dynamic but I feel like you know I feel like you kind of know innately how to just l be there for someone and with that, my loves, I want to say, be there for your friends, be there for your family, be there for those that you love in your life, because you never know what the future holds. And with that, I will see you in the next video. <gasps> yes. Wow.